Boltzmann saw what Clausius could not. The real reason why a hot object left alone will always cool down. Imagine a lump of hot metal. The atoms inside it are jostling around. But as they jostle, the atoms at the edge of the object transfer some of their energy to the atoms in the surface of the table. These atoms then bump into their neighbours, and in this way the heat energy slowly and very naturally spreads out and disperses. The whole system has gone from being in a very special, ordered state, with all the energy concentrated in one place, to a disordered state, where the same amount of energy is now distributed among many more atoms. Boltzmann's brilliant mind saw this whole process could be described mathematically. Boltzmann's great contribution was that, although we can talk in rather sort of casual terms about things getting worse and disorder increases, the, the great contribution of Boltzmann is that he could put numbers to it. And so he was able to derive a formula which enabled you to calculate the disorder of a system. This is Boltzmann's famous equation. It will be his enduring contribution to science. So much so, it was engraved on his tombstone in Vienna. What this equation means in essence is that there are many more ways for things to be messy and disordered than there are for them to be tidy and ordered. That's why, left to itself, the universe will always get messier. Things will move from order to disorder. It's a law that applies to everything, from a drop jug to a burning star, a hot cup of tea to the products that we consume every day. All of this is an expression of the universe's tendency to move from order to disorder. Disorder is the fate of everything. Clausius had shown that something he called entropy was getting bigger all the time. Now Boltzmann had revealed what this really meant. Entropy was in fact a measure of the disorder of things. Energy is crumbling away. It's crumbling away now as we speak. So the second law is all about um, entropy increasing, which is just a, a technical way of saying that things get worse. Boltzmann's passionate and romantic sensibility and his belief in the power of mathematics had led him to one of the most important discoveries in the history of science. But those very same intense emotions had a dark and ultimately self-destructive side. Throughout his life, Boltzmann had been prone to severe bouts of depression Sometimes these were induced by the criticisms of his theories, and sometimes they just happened. 
In 1906, he was forced to take a break from his studies in Vienna during a particularly bad episode. In September 1906, Boltzmann and his family were on holiday in Duino, near Trieste in Italy. While his wife and family were out at the beach, Boltzmann hanged himself, bringing his short time in our universe to an abrupt end. But perhaps the saddest aspect of Boltzmann's story is that within just a few years of his death, his ideas that had been attacked and ridiculed during his lifetime were finally accepted. What's more, they became the new scientific orthodoxy. In the end, there is no escaping entropy. It's the ultimate move from order to decay and disorder that rules us all. Boltzmann's equation contains within it the mortality of everything from a china jug to a human life to the universe itself. The process of change and degradation is unavoidable. The second law says the universe itself must one day reach a point of maximum entropy, maximum disorder. The universe itself must one day die.